Thank you. Hi, good evening, everyone. I hope you're well and safe. Thank you so much for joining us on our free online lesson for today. I'm Ika from AQ Systems in Jerem Mahat. And um, today we're going to cover the topic on transition to name user from serial number. Before anything else, I'd like to uh, launch a poll, and it would be really good if you guys could help me answer it. Just let me know whether uh, which background you guys are from. Okay, so I'm just gonna launch that. And I'll give it a few seconds for you guys to answer it. I'm just gonna share my new screen. Look at the results. Okay, amazing. All right, it's great to know that you guys are coming from different backgrounds. Okay, uh, this topic for, for today uh, should be known or be well accustomed to those of you who are Autodesk users. Um, today's stop our transition to name user. Before we jump into the topic, let me just quickly introduce our company. You can go ahead and uh, choose any of your preferred browser and type in acatsystems.com okay, and it will straight to it will take you straight to our website okay you can see the overview of our company we are the Autodesk Gold Pioneer for 26 years and running and if you keep scrolling down you will see our latest uh, Autodesk promotions in the news upcoming ones and um, going further down you will see our upcoming online lessons and our training schedule available for you if you are interested in taking our uh, training. And if you are more of a social media person, you can go ahead and like and subscribe to us on our Facebook and YouTube account. Uh, our website contains a lot of information and it's mostly all you need. And if you're curious about anything, you can just go ahead and click any of these tabs. For example, if you're curious about what we offer, you can go ahead to the product tabs here and I choose the, the software that you're interested in. For example, I'm just going to Google ahead and um, click on this product design and manufacturing collection. Okay, it will take you uh, to the product description here and there's a pricing range around here for your references. And if you want to know more, simply scroll down. It will tell you more about the collection and what is what are the software that is included in the um, collection itself right so that's a good introduction of our company let's just go ahead and start on our topic for the day here let me switch that real quick today's topic will be transition to name user from serial number now i'm sure that uh, those of you who are familiar with all of these products have been receiving uh, information regarding this or at least heard about it a, a lot of times. So what is it all about? We're going to cover that in today's online lesson. Okay, so today's online lesson it will be um, divided into two parts. So the first part I will uh, talk about the overview on what has changed and uh, what are the benefits that's coming. Okay, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and have a live, short live demonstration on the name user interface. After you have better understanding and then on the second part we're going to tell you or we're going to cover the topics on what is going to change in the future right because uh, still things are still changing and then we will also uh, talk about what are the plans available for you to uh, purchase from or for you to subscribe and how do you transit to the name user and then the steps to prepare for it okay so for the first part for today's online lesson we are going to talk about the overview. So what exactly or what are the basics under the transition to name user from the serial number? Okay, so basically, uh, before these Autodesk products are being marked, uh, the licenses are being marked by serial number. So when you have any problem or when you have to trace something, you will have to know your serial number is always close to you. Okay, now uh, the licenses are still uh, being numbered by serial numbers however it's not just that because the licenses are now uh, being named user means it's gonna uh, have a person that will be in charge uh, on it okay so these uh, people are called contract managers and we're gonna go through those roles as well 
Okay, so what has changed? What came along with this transition to name user? Basically, there are new roles that have been introduced, right? So you can see here, the roles that are um, now existing is the contract manager or primary admin. So who are they? What are the contract managers? So basically, these are the people who receive the confirmation email once you purchase the license. So in a simpler term, they are the one who will be managing the licenses. Okay, so they manage users and they access to the software. They will be in charge to assign uh, people to their respective uh, roles. Okay, and they can assign secondary admins and they also manage the contract renewal and the billings. Right, and then um, another one would be the secondary admin or uh, software coordinators. So these people, they can also manage the users and assign um, them to uh, respective softwares. Okay, they can also uh, assign another secondary admin uh, if you need it. Let's say you are having more uh, licenses, okay? So you want to assign another secondary admin, you can do that. The secondary admins can do that. And secondary admins can also change the primary admin here. Okay, so for that process, you're going to have to go through Autodesk, but uh, secondary admins can do that. Okay, and then we have the users. So that includes us, uh, the drafters or the AutoCAD users. Okay, so those are you who are called users. And um, you will be the one who will be receiving invitation emails if uh, the contract manager or the secondary admin uh, assigns you to a certain software or you have access to it still, you will be receiving an invitation and emails to that and you only have access to the assigned software. Okay, then now we're going to talk about the benefits uh, that has come with this new transition. Okay, what is transition to main user from the stream number is given to these three crucial roles. Okay, so the benefits we're going to talk about is the benefits towards the IT and administration. Okay, we're going to talk about the benefits towards users and then uh, we're going to also talk about the benefits that uh, is available for business owners. So these are three key roles, so we're going to study the benefits behind them and some case studies as well. Okay, so without further ado, this is the first uh, benefits towards the IT and admins. So uh, the first one will be you will be able to be making smarter decisions based on the usage data. So with the uh, transition to name user, once you have access to your own account, you will be uh, visible towards an insight of a report. Okay, you will be able to see um, how many products are being utilized, which users are using what, okay, and how much are they using it. So you can make a smarter decision based on that. And then it also increases product productivity with dedicated access for all users because um, the accounts or the licenses and the software will be assigned to someone in your team. Okay, so, um, and they can access it to their own personal computer or the computer that you have provided them with, okay, uh, anytime and anywhere. So that increases the productivity. And then it also reduces IT cost and complexity. Whereas now that you have uh, your licenses being uh, marked by named user, will be easily able to uh, trace any uh, problems on it. So it will help you to reduce IT cost and complexity. Now we're going to go to one of the case studies. So this is Carl. Okay, Carl is an IT administrator at Cat Inc. So usually what is Carl worried about? So he's mostly worried if his users are locked up or whether he's wasting time managing his servers. Okay, if, when will he get the support that he needed? If there's any issue and if he's invent, investing onto the right software, the right tools for his company, for the company itself, or if uh, the software that they have access to is safe or not. So he's really worried about those things. So the current transition to named user so far, what has this uh, transit helped Carl with? Okay, so basically, um, now that the Autodesk is managing or is hosting his live stream for him, so he doesn't have to worry about that. The access is also available anywhere and whenever for his users. He doesn't have to worry about them being locked up. He also has visibility to his product usage, so he can. 
uh, makes smart decisions so he knows that he's investing in the right software okay and then uh, he can easily manage his user with the tools available and he doesn't have to worry about security anymore because um, now he can have uh, like a secure access with a two-step verification right and um, when he whenever he has inquiries Autodesk has also launched Ava okay so Autodesk virtual agent support so you can get that anytime he pleases she's available all right now we're going to move on to the benefits towards the end user which means the doctors the software users so what uh, is the benefit of this transition to us okay so basically um the main one is that how easily uh, it is now to access to our software it's as simple as assigning into the uh, social media account right you're going to have your own email address you're going to have your own password and you can access it anywhere okay you will also uh, be receiving invitation emails by autodesk for your personalized learning content so you know uh, they uh, based on the basic data that they receive now that you are a named user you're going to be receiving these invitations towards learning more about your product you will also have access to cloud services so cloud services are a platform where you can upload your data or your drawings there so you can open it in another device okay, so this is the case study for the end user benefits so here is Jessica, she is one of the users that call managers. Okay, before the transition to name user, she had a few troubles. So you, she wished that she had access when she needed it and not being locked up. Okay, she also wished that she had a learning experience that is um, related to her, to her career goal and to what she's using. She also wished that she had to able to work between different platforms and anywhere. Okay now that the transition to name user is uh, happening so uh, this transition has helped her to be gaining access to the software at any time she doesn't have to worry about being locked out anymore she also had uh, been receiving the learning content from Autodesk that matches her usage she can also work between any devices wherever she is okay now the final benefit is towards the business owners what what is the benefits towards uh, you as a business owner so now that Autodesk are, are managing your account you will have your own access to the uh, software when you need it okay you will also have visibility into the usage via product or the versions depending on the subscription plan we'll go through that later okay and then you will uh, not to worry anymore because your licenses are being managed and assigned um, towards Autodesk transition okay okay so the case study for this one is kate she is the business owner so she is calls boss okay before this uh, after the transition happened she is very glad she knows she has a secure software access and monitoring okay she has a visibility to the, uh, to optimize the subscription cost because she can see how much is being used how much is being utilized and then she will also uh, have a lower server management cost because she can see the visibility okay, and she can make smart decisions from that. Right, so um, now that you understand a little bit with the transition to name user, we're going to go ahead to the live demonstration. Okay, so um, usually when you are being assigned or the license is ready, you'll be receiving some type of this email. Okay, for example, Autodesk will send you this email and then you will be prompt to sign up or sign in into the image at Autodesk account. So we're going to go through that. Let me just share my screen. Okay. So we will have this. Then we're going to go to manage Autodesk account. You can directly click from your email address or you can go here at manageautodesk.com. Okay, so then you're going to have a form here where you can sign in. Right? So I'm going to sign in into my account. This is uh, the first introvert is us as a contract manager or the primary admin. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Oh, sorry, my mistake. And then put in your password. 
and afterwards you will see this interface. Moving on. Okay. So it's loading a little bit. So you're gonna have you're gonna see this this interface. This is you as the contract manager or the primary admin. You will mostly be doing here. So you the first step that you have to do is the contract manager is to assign user. So you go to user management tab and you click this by user. Okay. Then uh, for you to add a user, you can just go here, invite user. And then you can choose whether you want to invite a single person or invite multiple person. Or you can import them from your Excel um, a spreadsheet. Okay, so uh, for me, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to add a single person. You have to put in their name. Okay, and then the email address and you're good so that's the only thing you have to do okay send the invite and then they're going to be receiving the invitation she will automatically be uh, available for this interface here okay and then uh, while you do that uh, she will, or you can also assign products to any of your users you can assign them by products as well for example uh, the you have this uh, architecture engineering and construction collection you can view the details mm. and then you can assign users based on this product because you specifically want this okay so you can uh, assign uh, this number will change according to the licenses that you have okay it's also called C. So I'm going to assign to the one that I just added just now. You just type your name as well. Or the email address. The email address. Okay, and then you'll have a suggestion here. So you can click um, them and then just click sign. Then she will be receiving an email address like I showed you just now. And she can get started on her um, explore or start using the software and download them. Right. So those are the uh, addition by either user or by product. Right. And then I remember when I said that they have insights or visibility towards uh, how many are using certain software. So it's under this reporting tab. You can go ahead and put in the seat seat usage. This is for the standard um, plan. Right. So for standard plan, you really have this interface. You can see them. Right. You can see how many users are using for the last three months, how many products, and how many products that you have. And you can see uh, the insight on to make your plan better. Okay. And then I'm going to show you a little bit on the interface from a user's perspective. Okay, so basically when you have a user, it's the same. You have to go back to the manageautodesk.com. Okay, and then once you sign in as a user, you're going to see this. So you can see the difference here that uh, for a user, don't have a user management. Right, you only have this available for you, the product services and your cloud service usage. So if you want to download a certain item, you can go to all products and services. And then you'll see all the products that have been assigned to you. Right in this tab, you can go ahead and click that tab. Uh, for example, the product just now, and then you can see how many versions are. Uh, it's usually three years back, so you can download the versions that you want and then click install. So that's the basic for the user interface. Right, so um, any questions so far? Right, I can see that Henry, how many users license stand alone? Okay, so standalone is for a uh, single user. So after this, I'm going to go through with the second part. Okay, so uh, standalone is for one user, a single user. So part two, right now, uh, we're going to talk about what is changing in the near future. So basically, Autodesk has already launched this new uh, transition to named user from serial number. And then Autodesk is retiring certain plans now that they're making it user-friendly. 
So upcoming May 7, 2021, there will no longer be these two maintaining fans. No network maintenance, no standalone maintenance. They will all change to subscription. Okay, and then on the 7, 2021, um, there will no longer be a multi-user subscription. So uh, after this, uh, all the plans or other subscription will be for only one people. There's no more multi-users. And then, uh, now that you know the change, so how do you get a name to use? How do you get to a name user? So there are a few plans that Autodesk have um, uh, made it easier for you to transit, right? So the first one, if you have a standalone maintenance uh, license, okay, on your next renewal, before the May 7 next year, you can trade in that license for one subscription. And then if you have a perpetual license that is already expired, no maintenance uh, that is active, you can also trade that in for a discounted subscription. So make sure you know what type of license you have. And then for the third and fourth one, so for those of you who have network maintenance or multi-user subscription, okay, for this one, there's a special pricing where you can trade in one network maintenance, one multi-user subscription for two single user subscription. Okay, so one to two, basically. And then last but not least, you will, if you have the design and creation suits, unfortunately, the last date for the renewal was last April this year. So there won't be any more renewal or maintenance plan for it. So what you can do if you have this, you can maybe consider trading in an upgrade to a collection. The Autodesk and Flunch are three collection, industrial collections that they are making cost efficiently for you. Okay, so you can consider of doing that. We're going to talk about the collection in a bit. So if you don't upgrade uh, after the dates that I mentioned, uh, what will happen? So basically, if you are on a maintenance, you can still use your perpetual license. This is perpetual. You can still use it as long as you wish. And you can still continue to receive the support and benefits until your main implant expires. And then if you are on subscription, you can still use the subscription until the end of the contract, whether it's annually, whether it's um, by two years or three years, right? And then uh, if it expires, you will have to purchase a new subscription. You cannot use that license for trading in anymore. Right, so remember when I mentioned there are three plans that Autodesk uh, had launched for you, you can choose from whether it's standard, premium, or enterprise. Right, so for standard, uh, you have use and export for the product usage. Remember, I showed you just now uh, on the managed account desk, you can see the reporting. And then for uh, premium, there's an additional step where you can see the, uh, it's more detailed, you can see it by user. So let me just show you real quickly. So this order desk account, so this is seat usage, right? And then you can see here by product or by user. You can see it by user, so it will give you a more in-depth site as a uh, premium user. So you can see which person or user uses what, right? And then uh, you also have the enterprise. This is for a bigger company. Okay, so for premium, minimum you have to have uh, fifty license, fifty six to license, so fifty licenses. And for enterprise, you might have to uh, have two hundred and above. And you'll be eligible for enterprise. The, the most top feature is that um, for premium, you're going to have 24 and 7 voice support and the um, insight or the data that you'll be receiving by user. Right? And then for enterprise, you have the enterprise success program. Okay, so remember when I mentioned the archive collections that is available for you. So one is AEC, Architecture, Engineering and Construction Collection. Right, you can see that and there's also product design and manufacturing collection and then the media and entertainment collection. So those three are the ones that you can choose from and currently they have um, promotion ongoing. So go ahead to our website I mentioned and you can go ahead and check that out in the promotion step. For example, the product design and manufacturing collection right now have the um, promotion that is a bundle together with an inventor training. So I'm going to click that. Right, so, yeah. 
So this promotion is still valid up until the 23rd October. You can see the bundle promotion software and training. So it's free for only 7650. And the rest of the collections, okay, there's two other, there's also industry collection with the Wi-Fi promotion. Okay, you can see here, if you purchase any of the three collection that I mentioned, AC, PDMC, or ME, okay, you can have uh, receiving, you will be receiving a three months broadband subscription. All right, and then it's also eligible for those who are uh, who are purchasing two seats of Autodesk GDS Max and Autodesk Maya. Okay, so so far, if you have any question, I have to look at the chat. So, okay, before that, okay, sorry, before that, we're going to finish up our topic for the day, right? So, how to ensure that, uh, what are the steps to prepare for you to transit into the name user? So, the first one, you should uh, make sure that you have upgraded to the current versions of your product, the latest. Probably, it's the three years version from 2021. Then you have to also ensure that you're able to connect online every 30 days to receive the learning content to make sure there are updates, okay? Make sure to have access at least 30 days per month to ensure a smooth running program. And you can also ensure that your product is eligible for the training aim. So how can you ensure uh, that your product is eligible? You can just ask us, okay? We are available. We have a contact number up here. For KL and PNIC, or we have a help desk. Okay, for on our website, we have help desk. Uh, you can go ahead and click that one. You can continue as a guest. You don't have to have an account. It's loading. Okay, so you can click here, continue as guest. You can put in your name, the subject, okay, your email address so we can contact you, and whether you have a company, all right. So here you can put in your questions for us. And there's a category for that, whether it's a general inquiry, whether it's aesthetical, okay, we will get in touch with you immediately after you create this ticket. So you can go ahead and just put in our questions there, right? So um, let me just take a look at the questions because that uh, is the topic end for the day. So I'm gonna check here. Uh, all right, so there's a question from Farid. How many devices can install the license? Okay, so um, for the license, uh, you can install up to three devices. However, you cannot use them at the same time. For uh, for the three devices, you cannot uh, open them at the same time. But you can install them for uh, up to three devices. Okay, and my colleague have answered that. Thank you very much, Shafiq. All right. Um, right, so that's the end of our online lesson for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, if you have any questions or any inquiries, remember you can uh, contact us through our phone number. But I really encourage you to use the help desk that I showed you just now. Right, so let me just the help desk here. Okay, so you can go ahead and um, share on the help desk we will uh, get back to you immediately right after so that would be all for my online lesson for today thank you so much for the great response and for your questions okay, feel free to contact us at any time if you want to check your availability or you have any general questions you can um, check out our website and then go to help desk to contact us we will contact you immediately so thank you so much. Please stay safe and well. Uh, make sure to always follow the SOP and keep your hygiene uh, clean. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good day.